You know, I don't, uh, I don't anticipate being here for very long, but I do know that there's a handful of people to talk to. And then by talking to those people, we, we kind of wrap up a little bit more of the stories. Oh, I see. It was floating. <laughs> it looked weird. It looked like there was like a weird crane going on. Hey, Commander. How are you holding up? I don't know what I thought I'd feel coming back to Earth. I was ready to fight. Ready to die if I had to. But seeing everything like this... Let's do to the Reapers what they did to us. Let's hurt them. Let's stay focused. Don't go losing the fight before throwing your first punch. I know, I know. You're right. So, I guess this is it, no? One more push, one last fight. Not necessarily our last. It's been an honor serving with you, Shepard. You and I both know honor won't mean a damn thing if we don't win this. That's the truth. Whatever happens out there, you'll know what to do. You're a damn good Marine, Vega. That means a lot to me, ma'am. Good luck out there. Shepherd. Oh, that was that was weirdly sweet. <laughs> Anybody else over here? No, just some nerds, trucks. What did they find? Did Echo Team have a recommendation? Uh, we'll get it. We'll get it, guys. Shepard's here. Just, you know, space Jesus. <laughs> right? Is that how that works? I mean, that's kind of what Shepard is in the writing for this. It's a little predictable in that regard. Hey, Caden. Commander? You ready? Absolutely. For anything. Bring it on. And biotics division? Your students? <laughs> More than ready. Eager. That's youth for you. Guess we're old soldiers. Hey, Shepard. Yeah. I guess we are. We know the score. We know this is goodbye. Yeah. We know the score. And I'm not afraid to die. But listen, I... There's... Things I want to say. And looking back, I have a few regrets, but not many. That's pretty damn amazing, right? Messed up kid that I was. Never would have dreamed of the life I've had. And I owe a lot of that to you, you know? It's been quite a ride. It sure has. But how are you doing? Scared? I've got these bastards in my sights, Caden. It's them that should be afraid of me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're right about that. So... Take care, Major. You too, Commander. Well... I should find the rest of my squad. Yeah. You know... I've never been to London. <laughs> that... that's... you know, that's actually very true. The... the Reapers should be afraid of Shepard. <laughs> Like, think just in this game alone, like not even considering the previous two games, just what she's done to them. It's insane. Uh, if I were a Reaper, I'd be like, who the hell is this little vermin who keeps doing all this crap? Like, th this person needs to be taken care of. Like, go deal with them. Um, even if even if you didn't necessarily see him as a threat, it's like that that person is just annoying at this point. It's like a gnat. You're like, just go away and you just, you know, try to kill it. Uh, general notice all firehouses people. We're using the trucks as decoys now. There's no way we can handle the damage being done. And since there's, uh, since they're apparently trying to take us out, we might as well be, yeah, we might as well be of what use we can be. It's written weird. Volunteers only. Coordinates with evac services. God go with you, General Dispatch. Well, I'm, I'm sure they could tell the difference between a, a military vehicle and a non-military vehicle. I mean, these, like, Makos over here are obvious. <laughs> I'm, I'm expecting myself to have to go up there. But let's go in here and chat with anybody who's in here. I don't know if there is. Oh, we got a shop? Is this a shop? Yes, Commander. 
Is there someone you'd like to reach? Oh, I could just talk to people. Oh, let's do it. Let's talk to everybody. Kasumi Goto. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Hey, Shep. You ready down there? It depends on whether you've got the crucible good to go. Always ready. No idea what it'll do exactly, but it's gonna be big. Good luck, Shepard. If you live through it, drinks are on me. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Jack. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard? Shepard, is that you? Jack, how are you guys? Good so far. We're away south of your position. Rodriguez actually tore that little shoulder head off one of those Batarian things. It was great. I'll see you on the other side. I won't let you down, Shepard. Go kick some ass. You too. Is there someone else I can connect you to? I'm gonna be honest, I'm impressed that all of them are just ready to pick up the phone like that. Zaid Masani. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Almost thought you weren't gonna make it, Shepard. Glad I was wrong. You doing okay, Zaid? Yeah, yeah. Hope you've got one hell of a speech to get everyone moving. Looks like we might need it. Never seen anything like this. We don't stop it now, it gets worse. No kidding. Just doesn't feel like a real ground war when your opponents are taller than goddamn skyscrapers. Still, no use talking about it. Ready to go when you are. Let's cut the bastards. Damn right. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Grunt. Certainly. I'll connect you now. About time you got here, Shepard. Didn't want to win this thing all by myself. Good to see you back in action, Grunt. Wouldn't miss it. Our lab company is ready to go. You got enough ammo? Hey, hey, hey. Oh yeah, I got enough. Copy that. Shepard. Yeah? Thanks for getting me out of that tank. Sure, Grunt. It's been an honor. Same here, Shepard. Okay, Grunt out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Jacob Taylor. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard, that you? Jacob, holding up? <laughs> Kicking ass more like. My kill count's through the roof. We'll meet and compare notches when this is over. You got it. There's this, uh, great little bar in Rio we have to check out. I'm holding you to that. Give him hell, Jacob. Yes, sir. Shepard out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Miranda Lawson. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander, hope you don't mind me crashing this little party of yours. Not at all. Feeling better? Much. I got a few sideways looks from Alliance Brass when I offered to help. They can't be choosy at this point. I'm glad you made it. Shepard, I, I wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye? If we both come back from this at all, Everything will be different. Sure, everything will change, but on our terms. We've been running until now, Miranda. It has to stop. I understand. This isn't goodbye. You have to believe we're not done yet. Listening to you, I can believe it. Good. And Miranda. Yes? Be careful. I promise. And you too, Shepard. Is there someone else I can connect you to? I'm done. Yes, ma'am. Nice. Okay, that was, uh, there was a lot of, you know, a little chatting there, but not worth it to get, you know, final goodbyes. I, it, it's funny because I'm thinking now, I'm, I'm remembering back to when Mass Effect 3 first came out, and I'm remembering that, uh, I, I at this point in the game I had a thought I was like what 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 is the crucible gonna do we don't have no idea and I I, I had a theory like up until uh, uh well 
uh, uh, without spoiling it for anyone who's not seen it, up until like 20 minutes from now. And my theory was, uh, I was convinced that the the crucible was just going to open a portal and a bunch of more <laughs> reapers were going to pour out and that was just going to be like all right gg that's the end of the game i was i was like i have a feeling that's where this is going but i'm i'm glad I, that wasn't the, actually I the case because i'd be terrible alliance make sure we iron out these logistical problems yes sir the krogan don't want to share supplies though that's just rex playing hard to get tell him i've got a crate of denorian beer i'd be happy to barter with <laughs> And that ought to get his attention. <laughs> Shepard. So I guess this is... Just like old times. <laughs> huh. Huh. Hmm. Might be the last chance we get to say that. You think we're gonna lose? No, I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Then we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. I wouldn't know what to do with all my time. Neither would you. Sign autographs? <laughs> we haven't won yet. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Turian heaven is the same as yours, but... This thing goes sideways and we both end up there. Meet me at the bar. I'm buying. Shepard and Vicarian storming heaven. I guess there are worse ways this could end. But maybe some other day. And Shepard, forgive the insubordination, but this old friend has an order for you. Go out there and give them hell. You were born to do this. Deal. How many of you get really upset when I don't use those Paragon options? <laughs> Be honest with me. Primarch Victus, I didn't realize you were here. As promised, we didn't forget where you live. Though I'm sorry to see your world looks as bad as ours. Yeah, doesn't look right here. Oh man, I love saying bye to everybody. Time to shoot some nerds. <laughs> like how they just leave it up to Shepard. Shepard's got this. I mean, it is kind of fun. It, it is a fun little like thing that they let you do here. Where it's like, you've been chatting with everybody, but you're at the end of the game. You probably want some uh, some action at this point. Break, break up the monotony of just chatting, right? So let's give you some action. At least that's kind of what it feels like they're doing. Um. And I'm okay with that. I am really looking forward to the next Mass Effect game. And it's funny because like, yeah, I've done... I, I've done a Mass Effect 3 playthrough on the channel before when it first came out. And honestly, it wasn't that great because I had not been doing this for that long. <laughs> like, I've been doing this for... A, well, yeah, 11 years at this point. And you would be surprised just how much, you know, better you get doing something for 11 years. Well, the thing is, I'm I'm of the mind that um, it's fun sometimes to get a second chance to redo something. And, and I don't do that very often. The channel's very, very, very rare, as you might know. And being able to replay through Mass Effect 3, in fact, not just 3, but also getting to go to 1 and 2 and do it in a way that uh you know brings it to um an audience that can modernly watch it can that could come in and be like oh I, this is just like a normal youtube video that's of high quality um and bring it up to my standards it's so just I'm, I'm very thankful for that and being able to get the opportunity to do that it makes me want to actually go do dragon age origins and dragon age 2 of the same way i think dragon age inquisition would probably be uh, okay and watchable which is funny because I, I don't necessarily feel the same way about Andromeda, though I haven't gone back and watched a lot of the Andromeda stuff in a long time, so maybe that's just my memory playing tricks on me. I'm sure the Andromeda stuff feels probably a little bit more modern than the Inquisition stuff, just based on timing. How are the casualties? They haven't brought in many more wounded. 
That's something. How are you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. I just know I'll have a clever line five minutes from now. <laughs> I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment, if you want it. What kind of gift? Do you remember when I first joined my consciousness to yours? I can show you some of my own memories. Asari exchanged them sometimes, with good friends, or their bondmates. It can also be a way to say farewell. Show me. Close your eyes. Thought about saying no, but I think our shepherd would say yes. Thank you for everything. I love you. Now, let's do what needs to be done. Oh, okay. Moving on. Who else do we have to talk to? This. Okay, I'll try to stay calm. Uh, Sammy, where are you? Can't find you. Message me back, please. People go into that place, come out, not the same, uh, not the same, not human anymore. Can hear the voices crawling inside the back of my skull, whispering they won't. Um, stop. Why won't it stop until I go where the others went, get turned, excuse me, into one of those things. Oh, it's bad, it, bad hiccups. I think I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm okay. <laughs> it's bad hiccups that also came up with with uh with Harper. Uh acid reflux is the worst. Oh god, make it stop, please. Make it stop. So, so, so. Won't listen to the voices, won't come in here. Can I make it stop? No, it's do okay. That person's having a hard time. I'll talk you through it. You're his only hope right now. Jeez, that would be terrible having to deal with that. Oh, let's talk to John. Was it this bad in your time? Worse. I have been listening to the Krogan speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. We haven't won until we've crossed the finish line. In my cycle, we never even saw the finish line. But yours is out there. The end is in sight. You will become the avatar of this cycle. The exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. Well, no pressure when you put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. I'll do whatever it takes. I didn't come this far to back down. A pity we did not know each other in my cycle. But I know you will see this through for all of us, no matter the cost. I wasn't going to leave him hanging. If we actually pulled this off. What will you do afterwards? Since my birth. Life's only pursuit has been war. I look forward to seeing what peace looks like. It's a big galaxy. I believe the Hanar would welcome me. I could live like a king among them. <laughs> Thank you, Commander. 
for letting the last voice of the Protheans speak. It has been a privilege. Cool. Yeah, I um, I like him as a character. I think I'm going to take him into the end of the mission. Shepard, you did it. No matter what else happens today, you did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. Now let's go kick some ass, Shepard. Yeah. Thanks, Rex. Good to see you. See you later. What about this, though? We could circle around and flood it with reinforcements. Unlikely. I spent three days in that sector, trapped inside Big Ben, sniping anything that moved. It's a bloody death trap. Name me one place in this city that isn't. I was going to say, where's Tally? But she's right here. Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on her pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't back you now? And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? You know, I really am. I spent months talking to the Council. To admirals, to politicians. All to get to this moment. No politics, no diplomacy. Just us and them. One last time. Whatever happens, I'm proud to have served with you, Captain. Why do you say it like that? Looking for a transfer? I was hoping for a promotion. I'm an <laughs> admiral now. <laughs> I did get you a homeworld. You did, didn't you? It's time I returned the favor. Yay, that was a great line. That was actually really well written. Shepard, I have a question. Is it a big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the conduit at all? Because I owe them for Thessia. And everywhere else. Our chances of victory are less than assured. Are you afraid? Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours, nor will they. Good. Fight hard, but fight smart. We'll be depending on you. Understood. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. All right, here we go. Commander. Admiral. Just going over the sit rep. How's it look? Less than 40% of Hammer has reported in. Tell me there's more coming. There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. Every minute wasted here, the Reapers gather strength. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here. But now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here. If we get close enough, we've got a shot of taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. 
This will be a one-way trip for many of us. But there can be no retreat. No stepping back. We move forward at all costs. Understood? Booyah! Yes, sir! Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push to the beam. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well. I think I already know who I want to bring. I'm going to bring Liara because I need the biotics. And I'm going to bring Javik, I think. This war has brought you here today. It will define each of you. You may be a brother to someone, a daughter, a son. But today, you're a soldier. The Reapers gave you a purpose, and you accepted the challenge. You all chose to be here. Each of you chose to stand and fight. One way or another, this war ends today. There will be no second chances and no room for mistakes. Each of you needs to be willing to die to win the day. Anything less and you're already dead. Expect no mercy. Show no mercy. You fight or you die. Let's do this. So we're going to definitely take Liara. And yeah, I think I'm going to take Javik. I just think um, I kind of want to see him through to the end. I've never taken him through to the end of the game. So I want to see what that uh, that might look like. So we're going to keep keep going with him for a little bit. And I need Liara. I feel like Liara is a great um, character for us to use. We need those biotic explosions. Just hello, <laughs> surprise. Glad you're here. Oh man, that explosion was great. <clears throat> that worked out well. Oh, but he didn't die. Now he did. Get Rex on. How did I not kill him? Oh, he must have been like double shielded there. Where's uh, oh, that's Javik. Javik, whatever his name, I don't know. Hey, oh, now he's dead. Fine. <laughs> Give me ammo, let's move forward. We're, we're, our push here is gonna go fairly rapidly, I think. And I'm looking forward to it. Oh, that's, that's a dead tank. You. you take them down by running them over. Duh, that's how you do it. Even though you're smaller, you just you just run over their toes. <laughs> Actually reminds me of playing 
like Battlefield 1942 or um, or like Planet Side, Planet Side 2, you you often would uh, if you're if you're manning a tank, you often would come across a bunch of infantry and have to deal with them. And sometimes the best way to do it is just to gun it. <laughs> you just run them over. <laughs> they're annoying. And in a game like Battlefield or Planet Side, um, infantry are very mobile compared to you. I mean, obviously you're in a vehicle, but it's very easy for them to get around, say, the side of you and um, utilize a, a flank to do a bunch of just like anti-tank damage to you. Use a rocket or, or mines or um, a satchel that you can that they could blow up. It's really annoying, honestly. <laughs> Very annoying. Can I get through here? No. Probably gonna want me to clear a lot of this out. Oh, the banshee. Always with the banshee. Wait, where is the banshee? I'm, like expecting her to grab me through the ground. I don't want that. Actually, let's just go ahead and run. <laughs> I don't want to get grabbed. All right, let's do this. We'll back out. Did I reload? I'm not sure if I did. See, the trick I, I am learning is to, you know, she's going to do her stupid little, like, dash thing. And if you charge her during the dash, it seems to dissuade her from doing it again. Ah, she's almost dead. One more. There we go. I hate the banshees. They're so annoying. I'm coming. I'm coming as fast as I can. Oh, these nerds. Oh, this is going to be juicy. <laughs> oh, crap. There's a brute. <laughs> that was bad timing. I'm, no, I was going to try to biotic explosion that. But he, he did a leap at the same time. All right, he's super dead. Got a second brute. Reload. Get in there. Shoot him in the butt. <laughs> oh, it's very satisfying, isn't it? Are there more enemies? I thought I could... Oh, there's a husk just laying on the ground over there. It's like, yeah, I could swear that I kept seeing something. This ammo. I'm gonna top myself off. I never know when I'm gonna come across more ammo, honestly. I, I, I do feel like I'm doing a fairly good job of not having to worry about ammo like we're consistently picking it up but you never know i'm just like expecting to not get ammo at one point oh hello oh that's always so satisfying to get them in the gut like that you do so much damage to them all right shoot them all right ravager is so dead can i just do this get the rest of them Dash over there, and then that Marauder is super dead. I don't even have to shoot him. All right. Does it want us to get on the turrets? I'm not sure if it does. No? Okay, I just got to reach the battery. Well, we helped those tanks. GG. What's that? Oh, medkit. Whoa. Bad. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. They, they, I don't think they've done that at all in this game, so it was a, kind of a surprise. I mean, that's the thing, right? Like when you're playing a, uh, I don't know, a dead space. Or, uh, no, I've got a way better example. If, if you're playing, oh my goodness, I'm gonna die because I can't charge anything. <laughs> I literally can't charge anything. There we go. If you're playing like a, a Resident Evil and you come across a body on the ground, what's the first thing you expect? You expect it to grab you, right? As you walk by, even though like you shoot it beforehand, and it does nothing. Or, well, in some games it does that. In modern Resident Evils, that's not the case. They actually do allow you to to tap things on the ground and, and kill it if, it if it was intended to jump scare you, which is nice. It's a nice change compared to older games. But, you know, you, you expect that. Why? Because the games do that. They, and they do that throughout the game multiple times. You, every time you come across a body, you never know if they're gonna do it again. 
And sometimes they don't for a long time. You get like most of the way through a Resident Evil game. And then you start being like, uh, they're not, they're not going to do it again. They, they did it like three times at the start. And now they just want you to waste ammo. They're not going to do it again. You get to the end of the game and they do it like one last time. And you're like, damn it, stop it. And that's how it is every time. But, but with them doing that little door thing, they've literally not done that at all this game. So it was a little surprising. <laughs> it's a little, you know, I was so surprised. I actually didn't even get jump scared from it. I was just like, not sure what to do. Kind of just like came out of nowhere. You know, when you're watching a scary movie, you're kind of anticipating to be scared. In this case, I wasn't anticipating to be anything. I was just walking through a door. I was anticipating the door to open, and it did, so. No surprise on that one, but, uh, you know, something attacking me in my face. That was a bit of a surprise. Good, I was actually, I'm gonna call it, that was a fairly good uh, level design there. Man, they really do give you a lot of things to fight here. I don't remember this part at all. I remember the next part and getting to the, the beam, but I don't remember this. This is like, they really throw a lot of enemies at you here. I mean, I'm chewing through it. Maybe the reason I don't remember it, actually, this is probably likely. I think the reason I don't remember it is because I, oh, in the past have only ever played slower classes. I play, you know, the Sentinel or the Infiltrator, which means that when you get to this point, it's kind of a slog. There's a lot of enemies. You're having to stop and take cover a lot. And it's just kind of like going and going. You forget about it. It's forgettable. But um, being able to move through this fairly quickly has been nice. At the same time, yeah, I'm just like, a lot of dudes here that we're going through. We're fighting a lot of dudes. And here's the thing, it's like a bunch of dialogue over like, here's the thing, I feel like, um, something that I'm misremembering potentially is once you get to the beam and go to the Citadel, like it's the plan, I remember there being a lot more fighting. So now I'm like really worried. I'm like, wait, how much fighting are they giving? Like, look at all these dudes in the air. It's a freaking party. Like what's going on in here? We're actually pushing forward so fast that we're getting dialogue overlay. So actually, that's kind of funny. Can we please charge? It's like not wanting to charge. I'm just spamming four a lot of the time. Okay. Come at me, bro. Immovable object. Unst un unstoppable force. You know, that old chestnut. Ah. <laughs> I'm stuck on the box. <laughs> I was uh, doing my my backwards um, roll and it, it didn't it didn't want to do it. I was, I was actually stuck. So that doesn't happen very often. Oh wow, that made me jump. Okay, <laughs> that was fun. Did I kill him? Oh wow, that did a lot of damage. Didn't it? I don't really need to worry about my. Shield. Uh, secure, I like how in the middle of this battle, I'm like, ooh, a memo. The targeting shelters, evacuation shuttles, emergency services, power centers, people. It's not about destroying property as much as it's about destroying the population. We've got to modify standard evac plans. We can't rely on conventional procedures. We'll just get more people killed. Stay in small groups, get survivors out of the city, spread people out as much as possible. Pass the word.
Where's our fire support? We need reinforcements on the... Secure missile battery. Ah, oh, yeah. See, this is what I remember from this. I remember this part from this. I don't remember the other stuff. <laughs> Die, cannibal. All right, let's super punch him. Just get him out of there. I, re I like, remember this vividly. And I think it's because this, uh, at one point, was a multiplayer one? Major, what's the situation? The beam's interfering with missile guidance. We can hit the destroyer, but we'll never make the precision strike we need to take it out. Damn it. Edie, can you read me? Yes, Commander. Any suggestions? I may be able to use the Normandy systems to enhance the missile's targeting capabilities. Excellent. I'll need you to open a link to the Normandy from the missile systems. On it. Okay. Oh, launcher controls. Why not, why not go from the front one? Fine. I was over there. I was ready. That's it. I'll let you know when I've adapted the targeting systems. Sounds like good news, Commander. We'll see. Hammer, this is Admiral Anderson. The Reaper ground forces are making a push. Hold your ground. Protect those tanks until we can get a shot. You heard but it, people. Get here's ready. the thing. Has, has Edie ever taken long to do this kind of stuff? No. Why are we having to wait for this? You know? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense to me. Normally she's just like, all right, let me think. All right, I got it. <laughs> You're like, oh, thanks, CD. This is this is a plot device. Just give us something to do. Make it seem epic. Defend the blah blah. Which is less exciting, honestly, I think. But only because we've done this in so many games at this point. It's like a tried and true um, uh, game design or level design um, pacing thing. Oh my goodness. He, wow, he went real flying, didn't he? Oh, I got like, stuck in the wall. Oh, there we go. Come out. That was very odd. Let's do that. He's flying. Oh, I didn't reload yet. And now he's dead. <laughs> Where are you? We tried to hold them off, but they destroyed our trucks. Overwhelmed our position. Your left flank is gone. They're headed your way. Sorry, left flank. Sir. Hang in right, there, soldier. Okay. Heads up, we got more incoming. Let's get in there. We better cover our left flank. Man, I can react so freaking fast as a vanguard. It's like, oh yeah, left flank. Got it. Everything's dead now. <laughs> dive on him. Gotta reload real quick. We'll take him out. I'm actually expecting a bit of a boo-boo here. I'm not sure who that was that went down. Liara, of course it was. Which sucks, because she's kind of my, my jam. I, she's my, my butter to my bread. And we need her up. We just got a Banshee. At this point, it's clear out some of the nerds. Okay, I'm, oh my goodness, I'm in such a bad spot. Can we move? Okay, right, let's go like this. We'll dash over. Liara's still in a bad spot. Let's heal her up. Uh, she actually just helped us kill that. I got that biotic explosion. Did a bunch of damage. I'll take it. Shoot him in the butt. Come on, this is so much fighting. I think it, it's a little excessive. Oh my goodness, I gotta go. <laughs> roll, roll. <laughs> She's coming at me. She got really aggressive there. And of course, the R is dead, or Javik's dead. Let's get him up. I'm actually going through all my med packs now. Metagel, whatever it is, Metagel. 
charge in. Let's back out. Shoot her in the face. Oh, didn't reload apparently. We're, we're getting there. Okay, she's dead. All right, so we, what did we do? We handled two banshees there on left flank. So I'm expecting right flank to be like one of those big bird guys. Oh, crap, I don't remember their names. What are they called? It's not a Ravager. It's the, um, oh my goodness, what is the name? Hit the button. Missile guidance enhanced. Firing. Countering interference. Did it hit? What happened? The Reaper is still too close to the beam. We're down to two missiles, and we haven't even made a dent. You will need to allow the Reaper to move out of the beam's influence. And closer to us. More are coming. Hold on, everyone. We can do this. The enemies are incoming. Well, yeah, they are. All right. Where are the enemies incoming from this time? We got a boy over there. They're all like, they're just really hammering in. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm remembering this now. I'm remembering that this gets kind of intense. We'll, we'll see how how we're able to live here. This is actually a true test of our build. Um, because this is like <laughs> a ton of freaking brutes. Right, we have to charge in here. I don't even know how many. Okay, I, I can get her up. I just like barely dodged that. Our uh, incendiary ammo helping out a ton there. Um, let's shoot this guy here. I think he's dead. All right, got two more brutes. You know, I really wasn't expecting this to be a bunch of brutes. <laughs> I can't charge yet, but I'm gonna have to in a second. No, he's gonna die, right? Okay, so we can, we can, oh, gonna even explode that. That guy's dead. Unstoppable force. Where's the harvester? Oh, that's what they're called. <laughs> I can't believe I called it. I knew it. Is that funny how that happens? I just, oh my goodness, what the heck? I'm in like a really bad spot, apparently. I need to, I need to back out. <laughs> Holy cow. Why is it doing so much damage to me? Like how, how is it doing damage to me? And why can't I pick this up? There we go. Oh, what's this? I don't even know what that was. I don't even know what weapon this is. Oh my goodness, I can't even like get out there. Oh, but I think I got it with whatever weapon that was. <laughs> cool. That, I just happened upon that, that was pure luck. <sighs> Can we not with banshees, please? All right, let's go back to our other weapon. Eventually it's gonna be like, go hit the button. What the hell is that banshee? I don't even know. I'm gonna die here. <laughs> I can't, I can't handle this many units, I don't think. And now I'm like in the ground all weird. Oh no, you just blew up the building. Now, here's the deal. <laughs> What's going on? I'm, I'm gonna get over there. Please, <laughs> my team's over here. I'm gonna get inside the building. This is like all hold out here. This is like, like I said, a true test of our build. I guess of any build, it's really kind of stressing me out. Oh my goodness. Get her. There we go. 
All right, well, that's dead. That actually is very helpful having her down. Okay, what do we got more? Well, more freaking banshees. How is this even possible? Defend the missile battery. Yeah, no kidding. I think I've done that. Can we, can we stop now? Can we stop defending? <laughs> This, I don't even know what to do. All right, all right, we got a banshee in here, right? All right, once one at a time, I guess. We're about to lose a, a dude there. Man, remember Mass Effect multiplayer? Oh my goodness! Please don't, please don't. I just gotta go. <laughs> I just gotta go. Hit the button. Oh. that they couldn't say destroy or destroy. Over here. Thank God you made it. It didn't look good. It gets worse. Of course it does. Hackett just reported in. Several sovereign class reapers, including Harbinger, have broken off from the battle with sword. They're headed here. Harbinger? It's an opportunity for Hackett to get the Crucible in place. But we have to get a team on board the Citadel to open those arms now. We still don't even know what we'll find when we get to the Citadel. And that's our job. Find out what we're up against. All right. Saddle up, everybody. Get me Admiral Hackett. Well, that went well. <laughs> barely. It barely went. I was really close. It's now or never, Admiral. We're going in. Acknowledged. I'll send the word. All ships, this is Admiral Hackett. The Crucible is on the move. I repeat, the Crucible is on the move. It's so dark. Why is it so dark? All costs. Everyone, this is it. Oh, okay. I, I see. Now, now we can see what's going on. It was like weirdly the the choice on lighting on that or the shot that they did was really odd. Reapers leaving the battle. We've got to give Hammer more time. 